This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is just recently updated so here is a new solution for this lab. So first of all just me log into your credentials and once you're done with that just me come back over here and now here just me search for the vertex here. Click over here wait for a second now and then just me click on this workbench and now just me click on this open Jupyter lab it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook meanwhile in the description box of this video I will share one github link just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here now just me click on this download button over here like this way and download this file to a local system so just me click and it's done okay sorry i downloaded it multiple times so don't worry about that okay now just me wait over here okay now here you can see this file name called text prompt design over here right click over here and then just me click on this delete file over here like this way so it's gone now just me click on this upload file and just me upload the file which is just downloaded over here this one you can see i downloaded it at this time okay now just me click on this open and it's done now just me double click over here okay now what I do first of all just me come back over here and then click on the task number two scroll down a little bit and from you can see project id so just me copy your project id over here like this way come back scroll down a little bit and from you can see this project id so just me replace this project id with your current project id okay now for the location for me the given location is us central one so i'm not going to change that for you it might be different so just me change accordingly that okay now if you're using a jupyter notebook for the first time so for running a shell or you can say command you can just me click on this play button over here or you can just me hit shift and enter just make sure that your kernel status must be ideal if it's connecting or busy that time you have to just me wait and make sure that you are using a python 3 as a kernel okay so just me wait and now it's ideal okay now just me click over here and then just me run this shell so just me wait now and it's finally done now what we do we have to just me restart our kernel for that we have to just me run this shell so just me run this and just wait you will get this kind of pop-up click on this ok and just me check the status okay i glad that i faced this kind of error if you also face this kind of error don't worry about that just me click on this overwrite now once you see your kernel status is ideal then you can move forward with another command so just me run each and every shell till end over here so just me hit okay now just me wait until it shows the ideal And it's finally done now if you just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue and as you can see i got a score on each and every task on my first step but when i tried this lab previously i have to wait for more than 15 minutes over here so i will recommend you please wait for some time and keep hitting on the check my progress you will get a score over here 
for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys remember this video is for educational purpose please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and youtube community guidelines